Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing today? So uh, today I'm going to be opening up a couple packages I got from Economics and Comics. Um, one of them I definitely know what it is. Um, <clears throat> and the other one is probably just a regular uh, weekly or bi-weekly or whenever they're all available for me uh, delivery. So uh, <clears throat> don't know how far back this goes, uh, so we'll find out together, I guess. So anyway, let me kind of open up the first one that I do know what it is just because I do did get the tracking info on it so get the old scissors and cut that open so if you have an order obviously from billy economics and comics uh, i have links to his information down below um i, I it's just it's just great service you know guy uh, is a good it's a good guy man i really enjoy uh, buying from him and uh i always try to recommend other people that are looking for a non-local comic shop to uh, give them a try, check them out. So economicsandcomics.com, and uh, there's some pretty good deals there. So uh, <clears throat> first thing we got was, oh wow, this looks freaking awesome. So first thing we got is actually it's a comic, well not even a comic per se, but it's an artist insider. It's called Speechless, and this was done by Brillo, but it, it doesn't do it justice. Let me open this bad boy up. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce his first name. It's Luigi. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is I, I have one other piece of artwork from him that's autographed up there. And I uh, just love the actual artwork on it. But look at this. Jerry B. Ichihara. Look at that guy. Look at this. That's awesome. Look at that. So what this is, is this is Economics and Comics exclusive. This is number 234 out of 300 of these that were printed. And what Billy does is he partners up with uh, comic artists. Um, he had Puppeteer the other uh, couple months ago, month ago, last month, um, I believe, with Puppeteer. This month he's got Perillo. Um, he's got Carla Cohen coming up uh, where he's doing an actual having her do a design or do a character and then just kind of goes in and talks about it. And, it. and it really boils down to basically kind of, you know, talks a little bit. I mean, it's all about the artist. So it talks about the artist. It shows some of his processes and what he does, tools of the trade, the different paints and stuff that he'll use, and he'll talk about that. So another one of the process things where he's, you know, the beginning. And this is actually a character that he has always wanted to do. Um, that's one of the, uh, Billy's things with this is that, guys, this is, I'm not asking you to do Batman, Superman, you know, any of the other superheroes or any of the other comic characters you normally do. I want you to bring your own flair to it. I want you to bring what you've actually enjoyed doing. So this is, Perillo has always wanted to do this character and uh, has actually just, you know, had the opportunity to do it. So <clears throat> it was very, very cool. It's kind of an interview process where Billy's asking questions and then Luisio, Luisio, Luisio. Mr. Perillo <laughs> is actually answering the questions. So, and then goes just through the whole thing. It's basically a little Q and A type of uh, booklet, but it's really nice. It actually shows you, you know, the process, and there he is actually painting up the actual devil head or whatever that he's holding on to with the horns. That's pretty damn cool. So, then applying the varnish on it at the end <clears throat> and then in the very end this is this is it so I gotta say the only thing I really do wish was that <clears throat> I kind of wish this was actually like a, a standalone little insert because that would have been cool to have as a you know something to hang on the wall as well but it's very cool it is very cool and uh yep as a matter of fact yeah and this is for next issue carla cohen 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 actually i believe it'd be carla cohen i actually grew up with a kid named guy cohen and uh he was big his family was big friends of our family so anyway so that's why I'm, I'm surprised i'm saying the name wrong um but i think it's carla cohen 
Uh, anyway, um, this is actually uh, the first thing that I got from Economics and Comics. So I don't know if he has any more of these available, but he always does a limited run. So 300, 500 type of thing. And it's just something he pulls right out of his pocket. It's not like anybody else is actually, uh, you know, producing these. You're not going to see these on Sand Lemon or anything like that. These are literally just his own exclusives that he really does do on his own. So, and that's what I think is cool about it. Uh, you know, he has the time to sit down with these uh, artists, interview them, um, kind of, you get a little background insight as to what he's asking, the kind of questions. And he said he's always really enjoyed the process of making a comic character or making a character or art in general. And uh, so that's why he decided he would do that type of an artist insider versus just your standard, you know, hey, uh, can you make an exclusive cover for me? Although he does do that as well. <laughs> as a matter of fact, yeah, I don't know if you guys seen it, but I did a uh, latest Michael, uh, Michael McCone, uh, Pool Boy. Uh, just absolutely love the cover. Uh, just one of my favorite covers. So uh, I actually have one of those going out to a certain someone. Uh, so they will be quite surprised when they get it. Um, anyway, so this is just my regular pull, I guess you could say. My final order cutoff that I do through them. And uh, I do still buy from Jay's Comics. Matter of fact, I got to go there tomorrow because I probably got a little stack going. Um, plus, I want to get the new uh, the new Green Lantern. I'm excited for that. I've heard Legion Mark from Legion of Comics talking about that, and I was all like, "Oh, I gotta get that. I gotta go pick that up." I don't. I, it isn't on my pull list, so I definitely want to get over there and pick that up uh, in the shop. So hopefully, they've got another one sitting on the shelf. I'm sure they do. But uh, anyway. So this is kind of what I actually got. Uh, a lot of Star Wars, you know me. You know it's it's everywhere, as my wife says. There's too much of it. <laughs> but anyway, awesome little Doctor Afra cover. Look at that. The parting glance. Very cool. Very very cool. Love that one. The Vader 33. Ended up getting that one. It's a nice little cover. Darth Vader, black, white, black, white, and red. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah, black, white, and red. So I've got that one. And then I also ended up, oh, pardon me. Go. <laughs> and then I also ended up getting this one, which I just love. I always love the covers when they do this, where it's like, but then they do this bright reddish white. It's just, yeah, very cool. And perfectly fitting for the actual name of the cover as well obviously and then this one was really cool i just love this cover i think that is so freaking cool i mean that's probably that is probably one of my favorite covers on this series so far that i've seen so that's a very cool ah yes superman number three look at that freaking cover that is awesome that is a beautiful beautiful cover man i'm loving that one and then i've got the old wonder woman 798 on this one just thought it was nice how they had the uh you know the, um I, don't, I can't remember her name from shazam anyway got her in the background and then got uh you know, wonder woman which is a pretty cool looking good looking uh wonder woman there looks good and next we have Catwoman number 54. Look at that cover. That is awesome. Another one of my favorite characters. Definitely. And then another 54. Just because I liked the cover. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> this one as well. So yeah, I picked up the all the ABC cover or whatever on that thing. And then the last one I actually have, which I really, man, I've been digging these Batgirl covers like this. They're just really, really, really cool. I'm loving the purples and the yellows and the gold and stuff. So very cool design. So I'm, uh, so that's it. So that's the, that's my, that's my last comic for the day. Um, I don't have really much else going on. I mean, I have action figures. I'll be doing a review. I got, mm -hmm. Got a little stack of action figures over here. Some down here. I mean, for instance, an example of one. I picked up Luthen. So I got Luthen. I've got... Yeah, 
I got all kinds. Anyway, so I'll be doing another video. Probably one for each one of the characters because it's easier to do just one per show. And uh, that's what I got coming up, guys. So uh, I got more comics coming, I'm sure. I'll probably hit New Comic Book Day tomorrow. Um, you never know. I may jump on, uh, you know, Chris from uh, Comic Vets channel and uh, do his uh, nightly uh, Show Us What You Got show. So, uh yeah, it depends if he invites me, of course. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I've got, guys. So uh, till next time, you know, happy out, everyone. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.